hiding. <laughs> right, I just thought I'd give you guys a quick update because I haven't done one for a while. So, where we are? Well, I had a beer trim today. Uh, it was an epic thing for me. Um, when I am training, training's good. Training's hard. Unfortunately, however, it isn't that often. Uh, I managed one day last week, which was pathetic. I uh, had a very good session on Monday, a heavy chest workout, probably one of the most intense I've had this side of Christmas, and definitely one of the heaviest I've had. Uh, flat bench for the first time in a long while. I managed to get a few reps out with 140, so uh, a long way off from where I need to be, but definitely heading in the right direction. Again, back this day, but today was good as well. Uh, suffering with, I'm not sure what today, struggling a bit, had a really rough night, up and down, like yo-yo peeing, so I think the kidneys are a bit bleh today, or at the moment, but I, well, actually I think they have been and they're just starting to clear out a bit, um, unfortunately over the weekend because of the way I work, I tend to neglect my fluid intake quite a bit and then try and start catching up on Monday and I need to sort that out, that needs to be dealt with, um, otherwise, same old shit, different day, really, guys. Um, diet, it's all right. It, it's more three, maybe four meals a day, or three and three decent meals and a small meal a day. Um, focusing sort of oats and eggs for the morning. Um, chicken, beef, or pork and rice post workout, and then green veg with potatoes and pork or beef or chicken later on and then uh, uh, salmon or high protein yogurt last thing before bed and that's really the year calorie wise I haven't got a clue haven't got the foggiest it's not massive but it's still reasonable the meals are quite large um, a couple of reasons works all over the place I'm not organized at the moment and I can't really face the Tupperware tub regime again um, well, and once I get some more consistent training, I get a bit more stable with that sort of thing, then I'll try and start and get a bit more with my diet. Work's busy. Um, away tomorrow down to Maidstone for three days of training with the police. And then on Friday evening, we are doing a seminar at Redemption Gym in Maidstone. And it'll be live on Facebook at 8 p.m. UK time. And then Saturday is Redemption's Gym's open day. And I'm PTing from 9 in the morning till about 4 hour 4. Then I've got to drive home and go out Saturday night managing my friend's security company. So, a bit of a busy week. <coughs> um... I'm going to put this out on here actually, um, on in September this year, I think it's the 2nd and 3rd at Bowlers, Nike Bowlers Conference Centre, sorry, in Manchester, it's going to be the inaugural North West Strength Expo. As part of that expo is a harm reduction area which I'm organising and I'm currently trying to raise funding, a sponsorship. Um, we plan to have a blood testing company, a chemical testing company, a sharps and needle exchange company, my own business, all represented on the stand. And we're also going to have seminars throughout the day on various aspects. So one will be on testing and how it's done. The same with the bloods. There'll be, there'll be drug seminars. There'll be healthy injection seminars. As much as we can. And hopefully we're also going to have the European steroid usage survey people there as well but we need pennies um, so if anyone has a business a company that they want to support us financially um, basically all sponsorships will be getting paid directly to the stand company the company that's manufacturing the stand for us um, so any any contributions will be going direct to them um, we need 10k and I think we're provisionally at four so we're six short at the moment unfortunately I'm struggling I just haven't had the time to really get into this as much as I'd like but I thought you know what 
I've got a big audience out there I might as well use it so if you have a supplement company or a business of any nature that you feel you don't mind being associated or supporting a harm reduction effort then please get in touch you can either leave it in the comments or you can email me dave at crossland crosslands.org.uk and I'll send you basically schematics of the stand what we're doing and show you how your logo would feature etc um, the, the, the expo is shaping up to be quite good uh, I know Sean Fletcher Charlie is confirmed Dave Beatty, Andy Bolton basically all the stars of the strongman and powerlifting world uh, and I believe there's some really big names yet to be announced uh, I think there's 13 at the moment so far that have been announced you can find them on Facebook Northwest Strength Expo and you'll see what the currently setup is a lot of workshops a lot of one-to-one -one, uh, and group workshops with various stars plus seminars uh, hopefully John Peters is going to be doing some seminar work as well I am Dave Beat years so it's gonna be quite a bit going on uh, there's strongman there's have a go strongman there's a powerlifting finals there's a strongman competition um, and I believe there's a Highland Games thing as well so there's you know there's, there's gonna be a lot for people to do um, otherwise that's about it really guys not much else to tell you um, training series on YouTube is still going on uh, we're gonna do quads next Wednesday and then um, we'll do hamstrings and calves and then we'll start doing the exercise videos showing now the exercise tips on how you could improve your your techniques uh, with myself and my training partner Dominic and that's about it so only a short one but hopefully uh, just keep you up to speed as what's going on and we'll talk soon take care now